Greetings guys, it is Stokecraft, and we are back with another subscriber replays episode, guys. It's been a freaking while again, but it doesn't matter. Today we've got something ridiculous by Bob underscore 15 in his Scorpion G. Probably one of the best premium tank destroyers that you can buy at the moment. But as we all know, Bob underscore 15 has been featured a lot in my subscriber replays episodes. Probably because I don't have that many subscribers. <laughs> And he just has sent in a lot of replays to me. But that means because he's been featured so much. That he really has to uh, achieve something very extraordinary to get featured this quickly again. But he managed to do it. So yeah well. The Scorpion G everyone. This is just one of my favorite tank destroyers at the moment. Why is it such an amazing tank? Yeah well it has got probably one of the best accuracies at the moment in this tier. With tier 8 tank destroyer. I think it's 0.31 out of the top of my head. Just a really good accuracy. Also really good aim time. Uh, I can't really... Uh, I don't really know what it is out of the top of my head. But it is a really good aim time. This is just a really well reliable gun. If you manage to aim all of your shots fully at least. Because what I felt when I was playing the Scorpion G's. Every time I didn't fully aim one of my shots. It just missed. But yeah, missing shots in a tank that has 0.31 accuracy is not very usual, right? But as we can see, he decided to not load any premium rounds into his Scorpion G. Which is a good thing in my opinion. You don't really need the premium rounds because this tank also gets a really amazing penetration. 248, which is just very good. It's more than enough for tier 8 as we can see. Being able to penetrate through the drive wheel of the, super of the Pershing there. Being able to... Uh, damage him as well. Just very nice right there. Well, that's it, really. And as we can see, he's playing on Fjords. Probably one of my least favorite maps. But this is what I really like because he showed me one of the ways you can also play Fjords. I normally always go towards the middle and go sit in that spotting bush. But he said he did something that I would never have done in the Scorpion G. And that is something that I can learn a lot from, to be honest. Because every time. Uh, I don't really like a map. I usually see that I am just playing that map the same time all over again. So maybe what I should do is whenever I see a map that I don't like, try some new things. And not being afraid to probably get killed early. Don't be afraid to try new things really. That's what, um, that's what my uh, lesson is while watching this replay. Also sometimes you need to take some risks in this game as well, right? But yeah, well, that's something that Bob is not really doing right now. He's pretty much held down. Not that that would really matter because his turret will not be able to bounce anything. And that's also one of the amazing things about the Scorpion G. It is a tank destroyer and it has a turret which gives you such an amazing advantage over all the other tank destroyers. The traverse speed of the turret might be very low but at least it has a turret, right? There are a lot of tanks that would not be able to have done this. They would have... Uh, yeah, they would have needed to drive around the rock and being able to show almost their entire tank to be able to take a shot at this Centurion one. But the Scorpion G doesn't have to do that. Because it has a turret. It is, it is just so flexible, everyone. But as I said, this tank probably doesn't have enough armor anyway to bounce any shots. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. Look at that. Two shots when... Yeah, going into the gun shields right there. It looks like... Look, yeah, they look like two eyes. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> but oh well, as we can see, all the enemies are pretty much dead. And they have all situated themselves now in the city part here of this map. And this is pretty much a perfect engagement for the Scorpion G. Scorpion G is shooting the enemy tanks at a distance. With a few layers of bushes between him and the opponents. Which is just perfect, really. T28 prototype, shot in the side, and also the T150 is dealt with really, really quickly. So as we can see, the scores are about equal right now. It's... Oh, just as I'm saying that, of course, one of his team uh, members dies. Let's see what he can do against this T28 prototype. Oh, and he's dead. But Bob does manage to take uh, one more shot of damage into that guy, which is nice. So now the shots are back to equal again. It's 12 against 12. And the enemies have got three tier 8 tanks left. And an IS. But all of those things are very dangerous. Because they are all easily capable of penetrating Bob in his Scorpion G. So we are well. Luckily he is engaging these guys from a very long range. So it doesn't really matter that much. As long as he doesn't get spotted. Because when he will get spotted of course. The enemy would really really like to put some shots into him. As Bob is a really dangerous tank. 
Just look at that, man. Aiming for the IS. Hitting the, the Kinar. And he's just showing off right now, isn't he? Really? <laughs> and he's already up to 6k damage almost in a tier 8 tank. That is just ridiculous. 3.5k damage is already a really good game for a tier 8 tank. But as this tank has just got so much alpha damage. And if you manage to have a lot of opportunistic shots like Bob had in this game. You'll just be able to rack up the damage like crazy. And that's pretty much what's happening right now as well as we can see. But Bob has to be careful. He's got half of his health left only. And by rushing that shot on the IS-3. That probably means that he's going to receive one back. Yeah, there we go. Luckily, the IS-3... Uh, low rolls massively. So that means that Bob's uh, got around 400 hit points left. But then of course the Carnarvon takes half of, half of that as well. So now Bob is down to a one shot for every tank on the enemy team. But luckily as we can see the team uh, member there, right there. That 112 has got around 1000 hit points left. And luckily Bob manages to pull one back as well. Taking down the IS-3 there. And as we can see the Carnarvon and the IS are on very low health right there. So the 112 is pretty much going to have to trade him some, some health to take down an enemy tank. And that's exactly what he does. Perfectly play by that 112 there. And now it's just a matter of trying to get the shot on the Carnarvon. And that's exactly what Bob manages to do. Really amazing game, man. G fucking G. Ridiculous game by Bob on the score 15 here. Just look at these scores, man. It is absolutely ridiculous. I've never seen this much damage in the tier 8 tank ever before. 7.4k damage. Bob, congratulations on this amazing replay. So everyone, that's pretty much the video. I hope you enjoyed it. But if this video sparked your interest in sending in a replay yourself, I will show you in the screen right now what you need to do to send in your replays. Furthermore, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. As usual, there's a lot of time and effort put into it, so please leave a like. Also think about subscribing if you haven't already. And I will see all of you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.